Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So we all know this drama between Pretty Boy Fredo and DDG. Also with Lala and Ruby Rose. She released a couple of messages as a teaser because she's supposed to be going live on OnlyFans. You know, to basically expose what happened between her, Lala, and Lil TJ. Anyways, here's what the messages said. So Ruby Rose is in the blue and Lala is in the white. So Ruby Rose said I love you back and Lala said I love you and Ruby Rose said love you as a sis because we've been through a lot but I'm not gonna lie I can't F with you anymore. Lala responded and said I can't say I didn't see this coming. I just wish you could be honest with me about how you feel when I asked but I was probably being selfish so I'm sorry if I hurt you along the way. I'm around a lot of people right now and that's when Ruby Rose responded and said go in the room and call me. You just effed up your stuff little mama. Be careful. So I just want to know what Ruby Rose is going to say on live. And yes, I did pay for the subscription because I want to see what she got to say. Okay, so y'all stay tuned for that. Ruby Rose tweeted and said, Go on live on my OnlyFans tomorrow to let y'all know what this snake girl really been on. Drop my price for today only. Link in bio. So basically, we're going to see what's going to happen with that. Like I told you guys, I did pay for the subscription. So make sure you watch the video and support your girl, okay? So then we're going to move on to this DDG and Pretty Boy Fredo situation. So Pretty Boy Fredo said the only way he's going to fight DDG is if Pretty Boy Fredo win. DDG, let's... Pretty Boy Fredo have sexual intercourse with Ruby Rose along with Pretty Boy Fredo friend. Now we all know that's not going to happen so the fight ain't going to happen basically. Okay so I'm going to let you guys look at the live and you see for yourselves what Pretty Boy Fredo had to say about DDG and Ruby Rose. Thanks for watching and also make sure you like, share, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to support this channel. Thanks for watching. One day I care, the next day I don't. But for y'all, I'm here. Alright? Now, um... What I'm gonna say, first and foremost, um, I'm the sexiest nigga on YouTube. I, this is probably my worst day ever, but it's, I, I still, I'm still the sexiest nigga on YouTube. Number two, let me say this real quick. All right, mark my words, bro. It don't matter what I say. It don't matter what I say, bro. <sighs> let me just make this clear. It don't matter what I say. I'm always, and I tell you guys this, I promise you, I'm always going to be wrong. Always. Always, always, always. And that shit is just mind-blowing. I literally could get shot in the back of the head. And they will say, damn, why was your head in the way of the bullet? A hundred percent. Because it's just sad, like, how they training, like, people be, you know, it's crazy, bro. Hold on, let me, matter of fact, matter of fact, now I'm finna turn up, because now I'm actually getting mad. When people support me in my channel, why the fuck does it have to be called dick right? Why can't that just be support and just normal fan behavior? I, I don't get it. But when niggas support me, it gotta be dick riding. When niggas support other celebrities and all this shit, it's, I don't know, it's just being a fan. But when a niggas support me, it's dick, like, what? I, I don't get that. Like, niggas fuck with me, they ride with me. That's what it is. If and, and the niggas that don't, they don't. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, I just, honestly, I just be like, what the fuck? Like, this shit just don't, it don't make sense, bruh. Shout out to all my loyal supporters, bruh. Because y'all got to deal with these lame niggas calling y'all dick riders when y'all just showing love and support. You know what I'm saying? Just like... Any other person would that look up to somebody that they, you know what I'm saying? That they, and that's that. So, but to all my supporters, I appreciate it. Now, let me talk about this, this fight or whatever. All right. I don't know who and what universe, I guess, fuck Mars, we on Venus. I guess we're on Venus. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll do that over there, but we don't organize events with ops. All right. That just doesn't like, that's the stupid. That that sounds fake. That literally sounds fake. Like, hey, I'm gonna organize an event with someone that I don't give a f like. That makes no sense. But you know what? For SSH, I'm gonna do this for SSH. I'm not doing this for nobody else. Fuck all y'all niggas. If you're not SSH, I'm gonna fuck with you. I don't care about you. I don't care about shit. You gotta do it. You don't support SSH. I don't care. This is for SSH. I accept the fight challenge from Mister uh, Dirty Face. DDG, all right? I accept your challenge. It looked like you washed your face with a rag that was meant to be used for an ass or 
was already on the ass. I accept the fight challenge, all right? I accept the fight challenge, but, all right, I'm going to just say this, but only under one very condition, all right? One condition. I accept the fight challenge. I accept it. It's cool. I want to do it, man. I've been in the gym. Let's do it. I feel good. I feel good, but only under one condition. Now, I do not believe in giving niggas money that don't deserve it. He don't deserve a dime. He don't deserve a penny. Not one single dime for me. I don't, I don't believe in that. And not only that, I feel like this will be an event that's not like I'm not looking at, like the first thing this dumbass nigga think money, 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 money. Like your your brain is fucking you're broken. You're broken spiritually. Like it's the first thing you're thinking because matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me rewind this shit back. You a cap ass nigga because the only time you want to box is when it has to do or involve in money. I told you to pull up in July. I told this nigga way back in July to pull up. He never did anything. Never, never came, never responded. He read the message. He wrote back, never pulled up. Now that there's an opportunity for money, now you want to, oh, I, I want to box. I want to box. All right, all right, whatever. We can box. We can box. But I'm only going to box under one condition. All right? Yeah. It's just, bro, it's, it's truth. Like, the truth is in the pudding. When I told him to pull up, what? When, hold on, hold on. Look at the abs, man. When I told him to pull up in July, on the house, like, I was going to give this nigga, when he got here, on everything I love, the moment this nigga got here, bro, I was going to give that nigga, I was going to give him that shit right then, right there. On a low low. Like, no no YouTube, no money, no monetary value, no nothing. Like, you was going to get a free ass with me. Soon as you got here, he read my message, he knew what time it was, he didn't respond. Now, there, there's an opportunity for money. Now it's, oh, let's box for, nah, nah, nah. So this is what we're going to do. I accept your fight challenge, but only under one condition. If you beat me, DDG, which I doubt, if you beat me, all the money that if you beat me with goes to charity, all right? It doesn't go to your bitch ass. You don't deserve a dime. Highly doubt you're going to beat me. But if you just happen to beat me, all the money goes to challenge. Uh, all the money goes to charity. Now, if I beat you, I just have one condition. I just got one condition only. One condition. I want something. If I beat this man, I don't even want money. <clears throat> I don't want anything that has to do with money. I don't want money. I just want I just want one thing. That's it. What y'all think it is? What y'all think it is? If I win, I just want one thing. I just want one thing. What y'all think it is? I accept your challenge, but this is the one condition. It got to be it. You got to do this. If you win, the money got to go to charity. We not. I'm not boxing to put money into your pocket. You don't deserve it, bitch. You don't deserve a dime. You too money hungry. You fell off. You too money hungry. Now, if I beat you, this is my one condition. All right. If I beat you, I need, I need Miss Ruby Rose. I need her. And she got to fuck me and my whole team. She got to let me and my whole team run the train. conditions will i agree to the fight if you agree to it then i'll 100 do it if you beat me the money goes to charity if i beat you me and my team we get to run a train on your bitch and we get to record it and upload it on only fans all right if you agree to that i 100 percent fighting you a hundred million percent if you don't agree to that then i don't know what to say i don't know personally I don't want money. I, I, I don't. I want to give fan, I want to give the fans something that they'll enjoy and cherish forever, honestly. And I think that would be perfect, my nigga. It would be perfect. Me and my guys, we get to run a train on your bitch. Other than that, let's do it. So y'all got it. Y'all got the stimulations. Y'all got the, you know, the rules and shit. I accept the fight challenge. Nigga told me I had 24 hours. Or what, nigga? What the fuck are you going to do? Uh, cyber bully me, nigga? Like, what are you going to do? Like, holy shit, bro. These niggas is weird as fuck. So those are the stimulations, my guy. So if you got that, do it. If you with it, let me know. So y'all gonna let GDG know right now. Fredo accepts the, the, the boxing challenge. But if he wins, he gets to run a train 
on your bitch. All right. So just so I can say that all my niggas had it, too, because every nigga in Atlanta had it. Please stop kissing that bitch. Please don't. Please stop kissing her. She's a daddy. That's it. Done. And the last thing, this is my very last thing I got to say, bro. Some of these niggas are fucking retarded, bro. I honestly, bro, I be reading some shit. I be like, bro, y'all niggas got to be the slowest niggas ever of all time, bro. I don't be thinking about these niggas all day. Bro, I don't even think about this shit. Like today, I'm like, bro. I